Welcome. Thanks. Thanks. Looking forward to another task, we are. I think I can speak yeah, for all of us. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what's happening now? Shall I get that? Oh, then I... Someone's... I can't condone that. That could have hurt somebody. Achieve a rally of exactly 24 shots. You must each take the same amount of shots. That's easy. You must be stood at least six foot eight inches apart from one another. Oh, God. Taskmaster is six foot eight, presumably. The object oh, yeah. struck may neither touch the ground nor be held at any point during the rally. So it's tennis. We play tennis and have a rally. I can't play tennis. There is a bonus point for the team that uses the most ambitious, ambitious equipment. equipment. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Why would you yes. rush to time starts now? Like, I, I always <laughs> delay it. Uh, Do you? you yeah, saying? I delay it to give myself some thinking time. Wish I'd known that. <laughs> Only mild irritation from James there, <laughs> in that some blood remained in his face. Carrie just said to me, well, at least we didn't have Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Some team task with him and then see how you feel. <laughs> okay, you want to see the rally? Yeah, let's just get amongst it. I can't wait. Here are Kerry and Jess. What should we use as rackets? I think these trays are quite good. Trays are good. We have to measure the six foot fucking oh. eight. How tall are you? Five foot two. So half of you is two and a half of me. <laughs> <laughs> you like down, so we're having all of you and half of me. <laughs> <laughs> Here. It. Here's half of me. One. That's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is ambitious. Put it's it on. stupid. It's not ambitious, it's stupid. <laughs> One. One. Two. But the sun's in my eyes. One. One. Two. Three. Three. Oh. Five. This is worse than the ukuleles. One. Oh, we've really blown this. One. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Yes! Leave it! Leave it! Yes. Don't go and have a lie down. And this is the greatest opening to any sport. One, two, fuck. <laughs> so, using balls and trays, they did it in 12 minutes and 49 seconds. Well, it's a starting point. Well, let's start. Here are the men having a go. Is that ball. correct? Uh, no, that's not. He's taller than that. I if we put a hat on him, it's probably about right, I reckon. That's the man, yeah. How tall are you? 6'1". Right, you lie on it, then. Why, why is that still there? And put, your, put your feet where his are. Why am I lying down with a hat on? Hang on! It says fastest wins, and right now I'm lying down with a top hat on. Yeah. Kick it over the shed. Start with one of us blindfolded, and then go from there. One. Oh, Phil. <laughs> Honestly. You've gone too ambitious. I've gone black. I thought you wanted to go on black. You've gone, you gone too ambitious. Color. We can just use the shed. It doesn't actually go anywhere near the ground. OK. <laughs> That's how it's bad. Right, this is the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, come on! Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. James has got to get one less. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Three, one. Three, two. Twenty-three. Give back to me. Yes! 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 Good time. If I could, I would award the bonus point for Phil's blindfold. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that you spent so long trying to work out what six foot eight was. I wonder if that uh, paid off in the long run, did it? Well, the shed was six foot six wide. They also had to strike it exactly the same number of times. During the bit we just saw, you counted to 24, but you got to 27 in total. <laughs> During the first 24, you hit it seven times, Phil eight, James nine. <laughs> also, you were seven minutes slower. <laughs> Another agonising decision <laughs> for me. <laughs> Jess and Kerry, 
pretty excellent. So five points each. OK. Well done, but Kate. I think with the bag of monkeys <laughs> that is the boys' team, they did attempt something a bit more ambitious, so I'm going to give them a point each. There, okay. let it be done. Five to the girls. One, one to the boys! <laughs> Please can all stay where the heck you are for the final task of the show. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and as if by magic, something's appeared. What is going on here, Alex? Well, it's the studio task. Uh, Jess is going to read it out. Write your name and draw a picture of a happy horse on your overhead projector acetate, upside down. You must not rotate or manipulate your acetate. You have 100 seconds. Most accurate picture in writing when your acetate is overhead projected wins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a happy horse and your name. You've got to do it upside down, though. But when we project it, we want it to be projected the right way up, as accurately as possible. And please, I would ask the audience, cheer as if you're watching football, because that, that will amuse me while they do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this out. <laughs> Feel the rush. <laughs> now, it's been oh. a long time since I saw someone what trying to man. copy someone else's work. <laughs> well, I thought, is this a trick? Because when you put them on there, does it flick them upside down? So if we do all of them upside down, then they'd be right. You know, Alex will talk you through that then. So remember, I'm putting it on upside down, so hopefully they've done it upside down. Yep. And it will look the right way up. Correct. Here we go. God. Okay, this is Rod's. How accurate? <laughs> So, Rod Gilbert is a, is a huge success. Mm -hmm. I want to question whether that is a horse and whether that horse is happy. Yeah. Teeth, nose, eyes, eyelashes, eyes. ears, legs out to the side, big tongue hanging out. Oh, happy. yeah, it's a happy it's horse. Fast. Tick! <laughs> Who next? Phil one? <laughs> says Phil. What's the. Oh, that's Chinese for wang. It's easier to draw upside down. Oh! <laughs> and... yeah. Your horse is. Uh, uh, demonstrating his happiness with a big smile. That's nice. Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's my name in... <laughs> <laughs> Gobbledygook. I'm amazed I'm saying this. That's probably the best horse so far. Thank you. I presume it's a very thin horse. All of its legs one behind the other. <laughs> OK. Here we go. Just can have it. It's a fine line between happy and deranged. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, he, he, he's so happy. She? So, forgive me. <laughs> she's so happy that she's dislocated her lower jaw. <laughs> OK. Last one, ready for James Acaster's. <laughs> he's been practising that for eight weeks. <laughs> I mean, fair play to the boy. Can't fault it. Both names. And that, man, that's a happy horse. <laughs> Alex, take your seat. I'll make a quick decision. Oh, OK. <laughs> I thought that he did the name very well, but it was by far the worst horse in that it wasn't a horse. It was a horse's face. How do you know it's you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving Rod two points. Two points to Rod. Yes, indeed. Kerry's horse was an improvement on actual horses. Oh. Why, why would they want to have two of their legs side by side? <laughs> stick them all in a big row. <laughs> I'd like to see that racing. She got her name entirely, entirely incorrectly, wrong. but I'm going to give her three points. OK, three points to Kerry. Jessica and Phil, I'm grouping you together. I got my name right. But my horse was really happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving you uh, four points. James, he got both of his names correct. Yes. And it was the happiest and the best horse. James <laughs> Acaster gets five points. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs>